Hello, I'm Matt James from Jean, and uh, I'm just going to be answering some uh, questions levelled at me um, from Facebookers, and uh, I'm very pleased to answer those. I'll do my best with them. Ben Thorrington. Uh, hi there. I have a question for the guys. Uh, hopefully it is okay. I'll tell you that in a minute. I have read somewhere in the bio uh, on the band a suggestion that the timings between the second and third album releases may have been costly to the band's rising popularity. Was there a fear of this within the band? And if so, did it cause tension? Um, I, I don't think so. We were on the road a lot over those uh, between you know, the, that period. I think we were just busy with you know what we were doing. I don't think we were particularly worried. I think there was a sense that Drawn to the Deep End had taken a long time and it cost us a lot of money to make. And uh, Martin was ill for some of it. And um, it, you know we we recorded that album very expensively. The label were like pushing us to sort of record an album that sort of would sell millions around the world and um, it didn't quite do that so I think we were aware that we wanted to come back you know and not spend so long and spend so much on the third album um, you know we wrote a lot of songs for the third album I don't, I don't think we were worried uh, that it was causing tension um, but we really wanted to come back and and do it quite quickly whether we may whether we did it too quickly or not you know only, I'm not sure about that really, but um, I do love Revelations as an album. Well, we wrote a lot of songs for it, and um, perhaps we didn't choose the very best 12 to go on it. I and mean, I think that's the one great thing about these re releases that a lot of the B sides that we put on, um, they're all there for you, and you can make your own album up from it, you know, if you like. And I, I certainly I think The Look is a great song. I'm not sure I would have I'd put it on the album. I think there's a one or two of those B sides might have been better, but um, anyway. So yeah, that's the, the answer to that one. But Steve Cacciaroni, another fine name. Um, my question, or hope rather, I love the suede reissues, but I disagreed with one thing. They actually dropped B-sides and edited versions of songs in order to fit demos. Please include all the B-sides, even if it means dropping a demo. I think it tells a better story if you have all the songs in that period sessions. Yep, I, I agree with that. and. You'll have obviously seen the track listings by now, but um, we've got, you know, it, it is actually full of all the B-sides. Uh, and um, I think demos are, are nice. Um, you know, we did, the, the only things that didn't make these releases are the, uh, the actual four-track demos of Olympia, in which I'm the only person who has those. Uh, they're very rough, but very charming. And um, they didn't make these releases because the two lawyers couldn't decide who owned them, whether it was us or whether it was Polydor. I'm certainly the only one who has them and they're not, they're not leaving <laughs> my bedroom <laughs> without some sort of, uh, you know, payment really, I think. Um, so that's kind of, you know, uh, but they, they are very charming. Where they're, they're so rough, I'm not sure they'd sit on, uh, on, on an album with sort of properly recorded music. but. Um, Maybe we can resolve that one in, in future anyway. But, um, okay. Gus Fielding says, in a YouTube video I watched recently, the interviewer told Martin Roster that someone said he was the most punchable man in rock, blah, blah. I just wondered who the band would most like to punch in the music industry, <laughs> band, producer, manager. And not the most interesting question, but I have just read the Moz autobiography. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not into punching anyone, but if Simon Cowell happened to slip on a strategically placed banana skin, <laughs> fall over and hurt himself, I wouldn't be that bothered. Uh, watch out for the Gene reissues in um, 2014, 27th of January, I believe. 